A couple days ago, I saw a Touch and Big Gaming's video on if it was possible to beat Super Mario Bros. 3 without touching the ground. So that game, on idea, I had a similar challenge. I've also seen the the Bandits video doing this with new Super Mario Bros. are always trying to stay in the blue shell. So that inspired me to do this challenge. The challenge video is my second challenge, and this challenge is about Super Mario World. And the challenge is, you already read the title, it's possible to be Super Mario World while always flying. Mario World has the cape, but it's unlike the World 2, so I'll be playing a safe fall that has World 2 unlocked so I can do the World 1 with cape. So here are the rules. The only time that I cannot be in the air is when I'm trying to get a running start, going through doors, pipes, or anything that takes me to another part of the area on the stage. And then, that's allowed. So, let's get started. Yoshi's Island 1 is mostly smooth sailing, but since I can technically just find the top of the level, I'm going to be staying kind of low to the ground so you guys can actually have a view of what's actually going on in the level. Level 2 was easy, I just got hit by a piranha plant. Level 3 was annoying because there wasn't a lot of room for error. I'm not joking, there was a lot of tight spaces, but it was possible. And level 4, there wasn't a lot of room, so I tried to fly up in the air the whole time, but there was a bunch of mushrooms, so then that stopped me from flying up there. So I stayed under the mushrooms, and then I went into pipe, and then finished level, of course. And one one Castle was our first dilemma. The castle was pretty annoying level because, to be honest, there's even less space than level 3. And there's a bunch of tight spaces, and there's this one tight space that has lava under with no service. There's also a fireball that I have to avoid by the skin of my teeth. And then in the next room, with those things that crush you, and uh, somehow impossible to avoid them, I just had to stay on the front of the screen, and by the skin of my teeth, I could avoid getting crushed. But guess what? None of that even matters, because in the boss fight room, there's very, very, very little room to deal with, and I can't even get a running start to at least even try to defeat <laughs> to feed the uh, enemy. So, uh, you know what that means? It is not possible to beat Super Mario World while always flying. But no, this journey is thankfully not over. Well, yes it is, but I'm still gonna be trying out all the other levels in the game. I'm not gonna be doing secret star levels, and I'm also I'm not gonna be doing the shortcut levels. So let's go on to World 2. General Plains 1 was pretty smooth selling, but I did get hit somewhere near the end. Level 2 was impossible because number one, I can't even get a running start because of the slopes in the start. And even if the slope wasn't there, it's a very slow auto scroll that it would be impossible because there's a lot of tight spaces in the level itself. And level 3 on Donut Plains was a ghost house, so you know what that means? Slopes, my best friend. The first room was easily possible, the next room wasn't because of my best friend slopes. Man, y'all are amazing. Level 4 was easy, but I did have to redo it a couple times because I kept getting stopped by either bricks and or enemies. Level 5 was easy. And it was possible, it gave me no trouble whatsoever. And I went to a castle, impossible while trying to get a running start. I saw a pipe, so I flew up to it, and it showed me room, which when I was playing regularly, if you were playing level regularly, you would still have to do the segment. And it's impossible because there was legit no space for me to fly up flawlessly and not get hit and then have to go to the ground. And if you guys are wondering, no, the boss fight is not possible either. I think World 2 was probably more generous than World 1. No, it's not more generous than World 1. That is, that, that is a giant lie. <laughs> so, uh, I guess World 3, I'm gonna be honest, I really don't have hope, like any hope at all whatsoever, but I mean, maybe hope might be on my side, I don't know. Vanilla Dome 1 is impossible because I can't even get a running start. And there's a segment which there's actually absolutely no space whatsoever for me to even try to start flying. Vanilla Dome 2 is also is, a, is an impossible level because it's a water level and I of course cannot start. I can't start flying while I'm in water. Vanilla Dome 3 is a ghost house and when you get to some of the coins of the blue door, it's blocked. And you have a P-switch, which by the way is impossible to get on its own because you can't get back with the cape. So uh, yeah, this level is also a bust. Vanilla Dome 4 is also impossible at the cell level. There are these big stairs and it doesn't even give you enough room to get a running start in the first place. Vanilla Dome 5 was actually possible. It was pretty smooth sailing along the way, no problems whatsoever. And Vanilla Dome Castle is impossible because it starts in a tight space where you actually cannot even get a running start. So out of the six main levels in Vanilla Dome, only one of them were possible. This is like the absolute worst score I've gotten yet. So I actually do have a lot of hope for World 4. So let's get started with that. Cheese bri Bridge area was extremely smooth sailing. Flying in gave me no problems besides the pipe that was in my way. So I had to fly up for a little bit higher than usual. Cookie Mountain as well was possible. 
granted, I didn't stay in the air completely off screen, but yeah, this level would be completely possible without a doubt. Love with Castle is straight away impossible completely. It's, um, it's impossible because you start on a very tight space where you, of course, cannot fly, and that actually wouldn't even matter because in the room where you're supposed to fight them, you can't even get a running start and there's not enough space in there. So out of the three levels in World 4, only one of them was impossible. It's actually the same score as World 1, even though they both have the same amount of levels. I'm glad the hope is mostly on my side there, so uh, let's go into World 5. The Force of Illusion is personally near my least favorite world, and in fact, I'm pretty sure it's meant to be your least favorite world, because it's ca literally called the Force of Illusion. So, uh, I guess let's uh, go on to the first level in the Force. Force 1 is impossible because in the end where you're supposed to get the key, you can't get it while moving and flying. But keep in mind, the illusion has a couple paths, so I'll be talking about both of them. Right now, I'm going to talk about the wrong path. Force 2 wrong path is a ghost house, and uh, it's impossible because in the start, there's a very tight space where you can't fly. Force 3 wrong path is impossible because there's no space to even start flying. Force m wrong path mini castle is impossible because of the slow auto scoring. Forest 2, right path version, keep this in mind, is a water level, so it's impossible. Forest 3 is impossible because it's a water level and I obviously can't fly. Forest Castle is very much impossible because of the tight spaces. And the boss, is, the boss fight is absolutely impossible. So out of the 7 levels in World 5, none of them are possible at all. That is by far the worst score that we've had so far. Hopefully World 6 is better, I have some hope. And on to World 6, I'm going to save this right now, here's some spoilers, I'm going to let you wait and give some time. Uh, uh yeah, so here's the spoilers, uh, World 6 is a complete failure. Chocolate Island 1 is pretty smooth sailing, and if you stay in the area most of the time, it's uh, pretty easy. Chocolate Ghost House is impossible because of the, some really tight space, can't do anything about it. And Chocolate Island 2 is mostly smooth sailing, but you just have to make sure that you hold back and make yourself go up and pass more than the top. Chocolate Island 3 isn't that most smooth, smooth sailing, but I'm gonna be honest, uh, it was doable with some pretty good movement. Chocolate Island Fortress is impossible because immediately because of those giant pencils, what? they don't leave enough room, they don't leave enough space for you to even keep flying for long enough. Chocolate Island 4 is also impossible because you can't even build enough speed to start flying. Chocolate Island 5 doesn't have enough space for us to start flying. You would have thought Chocolate Island Castle is also impossible because there's tight space right after you get your running start. So out of eight levels in World, in World 6, only three of them were even possible. That's a pretty bad score, but on to the final world. Bowser's Ghost Ship is a water level, and you know what that means, no flying at all. Valley of Bowser 1, I can get my running start, but there was no way I can even finish low because there is many tight spaces. Valley of Bowser 2 is straight up impossible because of this unskillful maze section. And there's far away from enough space for me to even try to start flying in there. Valley of Bowser 3 is another one of my best friend ghost houses. And in there, there's, and in there, there's legit a slope and if you keep running back and forth you can start flying. But that actually doesn't matter because if you use the P block it spawns coins right away and with those doors uh... You can't fly, because it's a tight space, and uh, yeah, so uh, unsurprisingly, this level was a bust. Valley of Bowser 4 was actually on our side for once. This level isn't very hard besides having to go in between two yellow pipes, but nonetheless, it's of course possible. Valley of Bowser 5 is another impossible level, <sighs> because once again, there's tight space, and maybe because it's possible, I mean, it's maybe possible, but I'm not on god mode in this game, so uh, on to Larry's Castle. Larry's Castle is a snake block, lo block level, and uh, I'm sure you can guess, there's way too much spinning objects that will of course kill you, making this level impossible. And for the final level, it's impossible. I didn't go through every door, but that doesn't matter, because in the boss fight room, you can't even fly while holding the Mecha Kubas. You can fly for a little bit, but then you're just gonna fall down pretty fast. So uh, that's a bust. Now on to the score of the levels that were possible. So out of 43 levels, not including the star ones or the shortcuts, only 14 of them were even possible. That's not even near half, dude. Hopefully my next challenge video goes better, though. So guys, here's my end card. 
uh, thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed, make sure to press the like button. If you didn't, then uh, feel free to press the dislike. And uh, if you want to see some longer videos, because this video was not very long. Well, probably, I don't know. I was still reading the, I'm not even reading the soft script, but uh, if you like my other content, then uh, make sure to subscribe. Um, uh, the next goal that I'm trying to reach is 1.5K. And uh, I will try to do a giveaway of some gift cards if I can, probably at 2K. Uh, probably less, probably more, I don't know. So if I have the money to do it, then I will do a gift card giveaway. I'm not gonna redeem them, because that's like the most scummy thing you can do. But uh, if, on those videos, if you win, then make sure to uh, tell me in the comments. So uh, here, uh, I'm gonna put some videos on screen because this is way more than 20 seconds. So uh, here's a little 20 second outro. Listen to my videos on screen.